The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Yahweh says this, Accursed be anyone who trusts in human beings, who relies on human strength, and whose heart turns from Yahweh. Such a person is like scrub in the wastelands. When good comes, it does not affect him, since he lives in the parched places of the desert, uninhabited salt land. Blessed is anyone who trusts in Yahweh, with Yahweh to rely on. Such a person is like a tree by the waterside that thrusts its roots to the stream. When the heat comes, it has nothing to fear. Its foliage stays green. Untroubled in a year of drought, it never stops bearing fruit. And our response is taken from Psalm 1. How blessed is anyone who rejects the advice of the wicked and does not take a stand in the path that sinners tread, nor a seat in company with cynics, but who delights in the law of Yahweh and murmurs his law day and night. Such a one is like a tree planted near streams. It bears fruit in season and its leaves never wither and every project succeeds. How different the wicked, how different, just like chaff blown around by the wind. For Yahweh watches over the path of the upright, but the path of the wicked is doomed. In our second reading, is taken from the first letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Now, if Christ is proclaimed as raised from the dead, how can some of you be saying that there is no resurrection of the dead? For if the dead are not raised, neither is Christ. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is pointless, and you have not, after all, been released from your sins. In addition, those who have fallen asleep in Christ are utterly lost. If our hope in Christ has been for this life only, we are of all people the most pitiable. In fact, however, Christ has been raised from the dead as the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus then came down with them and stopped at a piece of level ground where there was a large gathering of his disciples with a great crowd of people from all parts of Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon. Then fixing his eyes on his disciples, he said, How blessed are you who are poor. The kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are hungry now you shall have your fill. Blessed are you who are weeping now. You shall laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, drive you out, abuse you, denounce your name as criminal on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice when that day comes and dance for joy. Look, your reward will be great in heaven. This was the way their ancestors treated the prophets. But alas for you who are rich, you are having your consolation now. Alas for you who have plenty to eat now, you shall go hungry. Alas for you who are laughing now, you shall mourn and weep. Alas for you when everyone speaks well of you. This was the way their ancestors treated the false prophets. The Gospel of the Lord.